<laughs> I'm surprised I didn't hit myself in the face. That would have been a good blooper. Should I go back and hit myself in the face? What's up everyone, I'm Alex. And I'm Jack. And today we're doing the Rubber Band Racer Energy Lab. Could you say that with more energy? The Rubber Band Racer Energy Lab, lightning bolts. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. <laughs> In this lab, you're gonna learn about your racer's energy and how it changes as you roll it down a ramp. In order to complete this lab, you're gonna need a few things, starting with a completed Rubber Band Racer. If you're not sure how to build this guy, check out our build video. It'll show you how to do it. You're also gonna need something to make your ramp. We recommend a trifold science fair board. Ours is made out of cardboard, but foam core actually works better. To turn this into a ramp, you're also going to need some duct tape and some scissors. If you can't find a trifold, you can also use <laughs> you can also use other stuff, such as a big piece of wood. And some books to lean it on. Whee! Maybe not so steep, but you get the idea. Remove this piece of lumber out. Get yourself some Teacher Geek lumber. This is our heaviest component. Did I get a splinter? Cut the sides of the trifold board diagonally. Then cut the tips off of those triangles. And secure it all together with tape. Your ramp's done. You're ready to roll. To complete this lab, you're going to need a smooth, flat area about 10 meters or 30 feet long. Follow the instructions in your lab document to explore the different kinds of energy stored in gravity and rubber bands and how that energy is transformed. Then try changing variables, like rubber band arrangements and friction, to maximize your racer's kinetic energy. And then use what you've learned to make your rubber band racer even better. And that's how you do the Rubber Band Racer Energy Lab. Until next time, happy, happy testing! testing.